All right, let's simplify the fraction 15 over 27. And here's how we do that. So we have 15 27 and we want to find another fraction that's equal. It's equivalent, it has the same values. It's just that it's in lowest terms. To do that, we need to find the greatest common multiple between 15 and 27. So let's list the multiples of 15 and 27. 1 times 15, that equals 15. 3 times 5, but that's about it. For 27, we'd have 1 times 27, 3 times 9, and I think these are the only multiples for 27. So we see the common multiple, the one that's both in the numerator and the denominator, we have 3. So we're going to divide 15 by 3, and then we'll divide 27 by 3, and then we'll have 15 over 27 simplified. Let's move these. So we divide 15 by 3, that gives us 5, and then 27, we divide that by 3, that gives us 9. So when we simplify 15 over 27, we end up with 5 ninths. And we can't reduce this any further. This is in lowest terms. These are equivalent fractions. If you divided 15 by 27 and 5 by 9, you get the same value. They're equal. It's just that 5 ninths, that's in the lowest terms here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.